Service Manager supports the concept of service level objectives. So for incident and for service requests, we have the ability to define different service level objectives, such as all priority one incidents must be resolved within two hours, or all incidents assigned to tier three support group must be responded to within 15 minutes. To specify service level objectives in Service Manager, you first need to define your calendar and your metric. So you can have multiple calendars in Service Manager. Here we've specified two calendars. One is our business hours calendars that's only valid during work weeks and during work hours. And the other is our 24 by 7 calendar, which applies 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Once you know the calendar you want to use, then you need to know the metric that you're wanting to track, such as resolution time, or closure time, or completion time, or first response time. And a calendar and a metric together allow you to create a service level objective. And here you can see that we've got several different service level objectives, such as high, our high instance service level objective. And if we open that service level objective by going to the properties page, then we're able to see that this is specified for all priority one incidents. So we made a queue or a grouping of work items to say that this queue contains all our priority one incidents. And all of our priority one incidents using the business hours calendar need to be resolved within two hours, and they enter a warning state after one hour. So what this allows you to do is create notifications or workflows such that if a priority one incident has been opened for an hour, but not for two hours, it enters a warning state. So you could at that point send out an email to whoever needs to know to let them know that you're about to breach. Maybe you reassign that incident to a different support group at that point. And then when you hit your target or you do breach, you can then send out another email or other workflows that need to happen when this incident or this service request breaches its service level agreement. Here, I've opened an incident that has breached its service level agreement. So you can see when I open up the incident, I have this little banner, one or more service level objectives have been breached. And I can see that the service level tab has a red exclamation mark, visual clues that something has happened. And if I go to the service level tab, then I'm able to see what service level objective I violated. And as I mentioned before, we could have workflows and notification workflows that run that could modify this incident and or send out notifications due to the fact that I have breached.